of you to see if you've uh, got an idea of a house from a television show or maybe even a movie that you wish you could live in. If you've ever watched a show and thought, I want to live in that house, uh, I want to know what it was. Let's go to Ohio now where Andrew is standing by. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Andrew, tell me about the house that you would like to live in from a TV show. The Loud House. The Loud House. Describe The Loud House for us because I've never seen the show. Can you describe it for us? Does it have anything interesting or do you just like the decor? I just like the decor. You just like the decor. Would you want to live in The Loud House with The Loud family or without them? Yeah. With them. Do so you want to be with part of the family? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. good to know. I'm going to have to check out this show. Andrew, thank you so much for calling, and have a great day today. Say hi to Ohio for us. Let's go to Colorado now, where Cooper and Emmett and their mom, Vicki, good morning. Good morning. All right, so I have to ask if your family could move into a new house from a TV show or a movie, what would it be? It would be um, the Marvel. The Marvel house. Yeah, oh. Captain America's house. Captain America's so house. Be, so he could be an Avenger. Yeah. Oh. All right. I want to just think about Captain America in some really practical situations that homeowners find themselves in. Okay? So imagine that Captain America is um, runs out of toilet paper. Like imagine Captain yeah, America know. replacing the toilet paper on the roll. Okay. That's the thing you do when you live in a house. How about this one? The the hot water heater breaks, and Captain America can't oh, wash got, his t his towels. Yeah. He's got pe he's got people for that. He's got people for that. So yeah. Captain America doesn't have yeah. to worry about any of the stuff that we do. Does is his refrigerator always no. stocked? Maybe we just want to be Captain America. Maybe we just want his life. Lucky. Maybe. Could be Lady uh, Marvel. Or you could be Lady Marvel. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, Vicki, Mom, was there a home from a TV show when you were a kid that you secretly coveted? Okay, so I said the full house house, mm -hmm. but then you brought up the whole learning to ride a bike on a hill thing. Oh, How about, yeah. do you remember the show Silver Spoons? I might be yes. aging myself. No, no, with I'm with you. Schroeder. Uh-huh. With the remote control on the door so you don't have to do anything and the full-size little ride-along train in the house. He had, yeah. He was, he was Silver Spoon. One. Yeah, Silver Spoon. He was super rich. What a strange show. The whole show is just based on the fact that this kid was really, really rich. Uh, and then there was a cartoon really, really called rich. Richie Rich. Wasn't, was it the same family? Same Different. Character? Totally different. Yeah. Totally different. Wow, the oh. 80s were an interesting time. Uh, so, yeah, but Ricky Schroeder, he had that train that he could ride in the house. That, yeah. house. that was a good one. Yeah. Do you remember Punky Brewster's bedroom? Yes. That was a good one. She had yes. a cool bed. I wonder. That was a good one, but their apartment complex, I don't know. Yeah, not not doing it for I you. What know. about 227's apartment complex? Did you watch that show? Actually, I'm convinced I remember it was the, same the name. Apartment. I remember the name, but I don't think I remember the show. I love that show. Anywho, Vicki, good talking with you. Cooper, we're going to try to get you moved into Captain America's house. Emmett, hi, buddy. Hey. Our, Anywhere bye. you want to live, Emmett? I want to live at our house, still. Who oh, wants to stay Emmett's home? happy at home. Home is where his family is. So sweet. All right, have a great day, buddies. We'll be right back. It's the Absolutely Mini Show on Kids Place Live. Come on, come on.